Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning for the week of July 5th through the 11th, and I'm using a kit from Two Little Bees called Americana. This is a four page kit, and I also added on the functional page. I picked up this kit in hollow foil. It was also available in gold foil, and I was planning to purchase it in gold foil right up until I actually purchased it. I was looking on Instagram stories and changed my mind at the last second. I just thought the hollow foil made it look so unique and beautiful. I don't have a ton of hollow foil in my collection, which is why I was leaning towards gold, but I figured I could use some silver if I needed to. With this kit, I brought in some stickers from Sadie Stickers that match the kit perfectly. Floral Trim 9, Floral Deco 9, and Floral Halves 9. I'm using the Floral Trim 9 with my date covers, and there are two different variations of the Floral Trim. I am just alternating both of those. And for my date dots, I'm using these hollow foil heart date dots from Simply Gilded. These were from the Whale Tail subscription box. For my washi weekend banner, I'm using some washi strips from the kit, but I'm also including some washi from Simply Gilded. I believe all of these were from the Whale Tail subscription box as well. The colors of that box match this kit very nicely, especially with the hollow foil edition. This week, I decided to use another 4th of July kit. I figured since this kit was a different take on the traditional 4th of July colors, I would use it this week. And since 4th of July landed on a Sunday, we were able to have Monday to celebrate. My husband had the day off, but also Sundays are usually when my husband has his papers due for his class. So he was able to celebrate with us on Monday. I wasn't planning to purchase any 4th of July kits this year because I already had the one from my last plan with me, but as soon as I saw this kit, I knew I had to have it. And I think this might be my first time using a kit from Two Little Bees. This isn't the first kit I purchased. That one is the one I'll be using for my birthday week, but especially with the functional add-on, I felt very intimidated by this kit. There were so many elements and so many new boxes and shapes and a ton of variety of shapes in this kit. I was a little overwhelmed while I was filming, but I decided to use four full box day extenders since I had a pretty busy week and I really wanted to be able to use as many of these stickers as possible. When I first started planning with stickers, I was really strict with trying to use every single sticker. It would drive me crazy if I wasn't able to. And I think I've gotten a little bit better about that, but it still is in the back of my mind where I want to use as many stickers as I can. I really just don't like being wasteful, but I think over time I have found that it is nice to have a little bit of leftovers so that I would be able to pull them into future spreads. But anyways, in my sidebar, I'm using Floral Deco 9 from Sadie Stickers. I cut the really large Floral Deco in half and use that as the background to my July script, which is from the Glitter Mama. I also added little tiny stars from Sadie Stickers. The only hollow foil I really have is from Grab Bags from Sadie Stickers, so I tried to pull those in throughout the spread. Underneath the full box, I added a header and the classic Two Little Bees bow header. Then I used some Sadie Stickers bottom washi overlay as a background. I layered some stickers and marked the week of quarantine that we were in, and I believe this is the last time I actually mark it in my planner. I'm still sort of keeping track of it in my notebook that I write all my notes in. We technically aren't in quarantine anymore, but my family pretty much still lives like we are. We have young boys that aren't able to get vaccinated, so we try to stick with the same rules as in quarantine. In the blank weekly schedule, I track my sleep as well as the sleep score from my Fitbit app. I will have all the shops that I use in the spread linked down below in the description box. But if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll be happy to answer. 
getting into the week. On Monday, it was Coffee Monday, and I used a sticker from Sticky Bow Babies. Then I marked that my husband had a day off to celebrate the 4th of July. The boys and I were still on summer break, so it was mostly just for my husband's day off. Like I mentioned, all the hollow foil stars and little accents are from Sadie Stickers, as well as these cute little corner bows. Below that, I mark morning cuddles using this script from Station Stickers. Underneath the full box, I marked Family Pool Day using a sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. Below that, I marked editing using a script from Harriet Wright Designs and a desk sticker from Sticky Bow Babies. At the bottom of this day, I marked Finishing Falcon, which is a show on Disney Plus that I really enjoyed. On Tuesday, I tidied up, ran the Roomba, and did some laundry. The laundry script and icon are both from a Nikki Plus 3 freebie. Underneath the checklist, I layered some stickers and a package icon from the Coffee Monsters Co. I wrote that I went to the UPS store and sent out the goodie bags. These were for Benny's virtual birthday party that we were going to be having the following week. I wanted to send out some goodie bags for his cousins. Below that, I marked editing using a script and icon from Harriet Wright Designs. Then I added a today header and the floral halves nine from Sadie Stickers. I also added a happy mail script from Panda Bird Design. I had received happy mail from Jax and Pepper. In the half box, I used a sticker from Fox and Pip to mark wrapping Benny's gifts. I've had a few of his gifts for several months and I figured I should just wrap them and get those out of the way so that I wouldn't forget. I hid them in some strange places that I almost forgot about them. And actually, one of them I had added it to his Amazon wish list and I forgot to take it off. So, my brother ended up getting him a duplicate gift. At the bottom of this day, I added a full box day extender. Inside the day extender, I used a flag. It had some fries at the top, so I added some other holo stickers that were on a holo freebie that I had. I think it was from Station Stickers. I also added a car wash sticker from Fox and Pip, but we went on a family car ride to pick up dinner and wash my car. The last time we had gone through the car wash, Benny was really scared. We let him know that it's okay for him to be scared. When PJ was his age, he was scared of the car wash too, and now he really enjoys it. The car wash that we go to is right next to where we were getting dinner, and Benny was adamant that he wanted to try the car wash again and see if he liked it this time. So we tried it again, and as soon as it started, he changed his mind. He said, I want to go home. Never mind. I don't want to do that. But obviously with car washes, you can't really leave until it's over. But I was really proud of him for wanting to try again. I used a sticker from Once More With Love to mark that Benny was scared. In the half box, I marked watching families on YouTube and The Bachelorette. Below that, I used a sticker from Hello Petite Paper. And I wrote that I worked on Benny's wish list. And at the very bottom, I added some of the fast food stickers along the bottom just to decorate. And I think this was the only time this week where we actually had fast food. We have a habit of going to multiple places whenever we get fast food. My husband and Benny always seem to want Taco Bell and PJ and I hardly ever want that. So we always get something else. On Wednesday... I started with a full box, then I marked uploading my Paper Muse Crafts plan with me using the script from Harriet Wright Designs, the YouTube sticker from The Pretty Pink Co, and the swish is from Planning Like a Pro. I meal planned, went on a grocery run, and cleared the front table. That table always seems to collect mail and junk throughout the week. Underneath the checklist, I marked a pool day with the boys using a sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. 
in the quarter box. I used a happy birthday script from Station Stickers and a cupcake from White Deer Stationery to mark my cousin's birthday. Below that, I used a floral half from Sadie Stickers, a baked cookie script from Station Stickers, and an icon from White Deer Stationery. At the bottom of this day, I marked watching Loki with my husband and sister. The TV icon is from White Deer Stationery. Flipping over to Thursday, it was trash day. We received new trash bins since there was a new company taking over. I ironed Benny's birthday banner and cleaned the bathroom. In the quarter box, I marked visiting my mom. Below that, I marked a Target pickup using the script from Station Stickers. Then I used a full box day extender. Inside the day extender, I wrote that my husband went to San Jose to help with an appointment. I can't remember exactly, but I think one of his family members needed a ride to an appointment. Below that, I marked an Amazon delivery using a package sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then I wrote that I hung up Benny's birthday banners. Since we are doing a virtual birthday party, I wanted to have a banner to use as a backdrop for our Zoom call. In the half box, I used a sticker from Once More With Love to mark a 4.8 earthquake. My sister was on the couch and she started freaking out immediately. I didn't even feel it. I think I was hanging up the banners at the time, or at least I was getting ready to, so I was moving around and didn't notice anything. Underneath that, I wrote that Benny napped too long. I think I included this because there was a sleep mask sticker in the kit, but also because Benny hasn't really been napping during nap time for a while, so it was strange that he actually fell asleep, but unfortunately it was for way too long. Then I wrote that I watched Cinderella Story with my sister. For some reason, my sister thinks I look like Hilary Duff, so I wrote, how am I Hilary Duff? I don't see the resemblance at all, but below that, I wanted to fit in that I got new goggles. I was really upset because the week before, I accidentally left my goggles outside, and it gets really hot over here, so over 100 degrees is pretty normal, and that tends to warp the plastic really easily. I tried fixing them, but it wasn't working out, so I ended up just getting new goggles, and it was so nice to have goggles that worked again. Below that, I marked a pool day with my sister. I was so excited to use two stickers from Pumpkin Paper Co. They match the colors of this kit perfectly. I filled in some space with a floral trim from Sadie Stickers, and I ended this day marking watching a typical the fourth season came out this day, and the Netflix sticker is from White Deer Stationery. On Friday, I started with a full box. Then I marked that I was exhausted. Below that, I marked filming using a script from Harriet Wright Designs, and the icon is from White Deer Stationery. I worked on Benny's cake topper and helped PJ clean his room. Underneath the checklist, I used a sticker from Fox and Pip to mark game night. The boys have been loving playing Crazy Eights, so that is what we did. And at the bottom of this day, I marked couch time with my husband using a custom script from Station Stickers paired with a sticker from Once More With Love. Moving on to the weekend. On Saturday, I ran the Roomba and I worked on preschool organization. The backpack is from Sadie Stickers. Then I marked Happy Mail using a script from Panda Bird Design. I had received Happy Mail from Nikki Plus 3. In the half box, I wrote that we played Crazy Eights, and it was our first time playing Old Maid. At the bottom of the stay, I added a full box day extender. Inside the day extender, I wrote that Benny was up early crying. I think he had a bad dream, and I took him to the office to take a nap with him. Below that, I used a sticker from Fox and Pip. I wrote that my husband changed our doorknob for our front door, and that he was just super productive throughout the house this day. 
Below that, I marked a YouTube binge. The script was on a freebie, I think, from Planning City. Then I marked filming using a script and icon from Harriet Wright Designs. And at the very bottom, I used a sticker from Fox and Pip, and I wrote that Benny loves his new pillow and blanket corner. I had rearranged some things in his room, and he loved how it turned out. On Sunday, I started with a full box day extender. Inside the day extender, I had my last full box, and I added a family time script from Nikki Plus 3. Then I marked church using a sticker from Fox and Pip and a script from Station Stickers. Below that, I marked editing using a laptop girl from Panda Bird Design, and the edit script is from Harriet Wright Designs. Below that, I used a Play-Doh sticker from Fox and Pip. Instead of writing in the box, I decided to just add some extra floral. Then I marked filming using a script from Harriet Red Designs and a camera sticker from Sticky Bow Babies. And at the very bottom of the stay, I used a sticker from Fox and Pip to mark watching TV with my husband. But that is all I have for this week. Here are all the stickers I have left over. For the amount of stickers that were in this kit, I think I did pretty well, and I am really obsessed with how the spread turned out. Everything just came together way better than I expected. I'm going to be using another kit from Two Little Bees for the next week, but I'm really nervous about even putting it together. I've been putting it off for months now. It's mine and my son's birthday week, so I am just trying to make it extra special, and I think that is putting way too much pressure on it. I've had stickers pulled for months, but I've just been avoiding it, so wish me luck that it turns out as beautiful as this one. I really just need to sit down and get it done, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.